when ashamed, look to God. Psalm 34 and verse 5. They looked to him and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. Sometimes this sense of shame could be the consequence of our own wrongdoing. You know, we messed up, we uh, failed to do something that was expected of us and so on. And sometimes this sense of shame uh, could be imposed upon us or put upon us where other people, for whatever reason, shame us, humiliate us. And they, uh, they cause us to feel ashamed uh, in the public eye. So... Uh, how do we respond to this? What does God do for us? So what would God do uh, in the middle of those uh, situations where we tend to be ashamed or we feel shame upon our lives? Now, uh, I'm talking especially in the context of uh, the human perspective, shame in before people. Uh, there is a sep another side, of course, in Scripture where when we stand before God, we are ashamed because of sin and so on. Uh, uh, we're not dealing with that this week, but we're talking about our, uh, in our human relations, in our standing before people when we feel ashamed. You know, King David, in his latter years of life, and he must have been probably in his 60s, maybe mid-60s at this time, uh, he's a very elderly person, a very honored man, a very established king to the point where uh, the Bible is saying there's never been a king like this. The Bible is implying that King David was so successful and uh, so honored and so loved by his people. And yet, one of his own sons rebels against him and puts him to shame. I mean, can you imagine? Here's a man who loves God, who honors God, and, and yet something happens in his life that his own son puts him to shame. Uh, and David, this great king of Israel, has to vacate his home, his palace, and, and actually escape uh, temporarily uh, to preserve his own life uh, from his own son. And so in a time like this, when David was running from Absalom, who uh, was trying to put him to shame, or to humiliate his own father, David wrote Psalm 3, and I'm going to read those first three verses. It says, Lord, how, are, how they have increased to trouble me. Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. So what does David say? God, you know, there are so many people who are troubling me and who are saying there is no hope for me. But God, I am looking to you. You, O oh Lord, you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. You are my glory. You're the one who lifts up my head, meaning you're not going to let my head hang down in shame. Like we read at the very beginning, when we look to God, He will shine upon us. He will cause our face to be radiant and we will not be ashamed. So, in the midst of those situations where you feel shame or where people are trying to cause you to, hu or to humiliate you, in those moments, I want you and I, I want us to understand, we need to look to God. He is our glory. He is the lifter up of our heads. He is the one. When we look to Him, we will be radiant and our faces will not be ashamed. Let's pray. Father, we just pray together this a moment and uh, Lord if there is anyone who's listening who is going through uh, any form of humiliation on their lives where shame and uh, where they're feeling ashamed and shame has uh, uh, been they've been caused to be ashamed Father I pray that we will look to you knowing that when we do so our faces will be radiant and we will not be ashamed in Jesus name Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.